The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, welcome back. This is Tiger Digital. Don't forget to go to the front page of TFNN. Check out those Tiger dollars. What sales you've got right there. Look at the market. But if you really want bargains, look at the front page of TFNN for those Tiger dollars that you can get huge discounts on. So we're looking at the Dow down 506 points at 35,392. The patterns that we've been looking at here. Well, uh, include the fact that the Dow was the strongest indice. Um, it held really well. And the big question is, was this going to be, let me drag this across here, another case of the dreaded H, the lowercase H, where you come down sharp, you try to rally, fail at either the first or second P, P, A or P, B, and then come back and retest the left side low and take it out. You can see right in the daily chart of the doji candle high of 36,565 back on the 8th of November. Uh, that pulled back to the 14 period moving average had three candles, three days of up move to a peak A, became an A minus as it turned around and took out that left side low, formed another small uh, dreaded H pattern we call dreaded H because if it takes out the left side low, it can go quite a bit lower. And now we've got this huge arch formation. Technically, the MACD is still positive. It's not great, but it's positive. The stochastic is very good at 85%. The on-balance volume is weak. The 9-period moving average is still over the 14-period moving average in the daily. The weekly chart says um, nothing to see here at the moment. It's still within this uh, rising channel. It is making an art formation off an alternate count PD at 36,565, the week of the 12th of November. And we went all the way down to the channel support level, the Chapman Wave inside track propellant range. We zipped up and we got back into the inside track repellent range. And now all we're doing is we're pulling back. But it isn't a matter of all we're doing. Let me just do this quickly here because finally you've got Microsoft. Uh, M MSFT, uh, pulling back in the dreaded H, and it's about to take out the left side low. It had 349.67 all-time high on the 22nd of November, pulls back to the uh, 318 level, bounces nicely to the 343, and then gaps down, and today is trading with a low of 319.06. Uh, it's a dollar, less than a dollar and a half away from making that left side low uh, support key because if it takes it out that's a failure pattern and it also is a PE in the weekly chart I'm saying and I've been saying for a while that the whole tech sector especially when you go to the QQQ you've got the same pattern here the dreaded H hasn't gone below the 378.90 low that was made back on the uh, I think it was around about the 1st of December uh, peak A minus uh, we will be if it fails but look what happened, Chap. We've inside track repellent zone and the arch formation. This just says, look, in all as as objective as I can be, this is just a high level consolidation. Yeah, there's a chance of an, uh, one of those uh, complex head and shoulders patterns. Yes, there's a chance of the peak D uh, all time high. Um, at 408.71 is fairly significant in that you're going to get an A to B. This is that lightning bolt pattern. It goes, uh, rallies up and then goes C to D. And that would take you, visually, I would say that takes you to the 375 level, 373. Uh, it, certainly, it looks like that's what it wants to do. So one of the things I said to subscribers, and we've raised cash, we took, our, took profits in, in our Dow Diamonds, um, and on the long side, we have the core long way back from April of last year, uh, around about 210, 211 in the diamonds. Uh, just going to hold that, not prepared to touch that. Uh, but what we're all looking at here is that there's a chance now that the Dow plays catch up to the downside. Now, my contention has always been that stocks, especially the Dow, that acts extremely well the end of October, beginning of November, 
having survived the usual September, August, September, October uh, week area, usually closes quite well by the end of December and closes fairly close to the highs of the year. So that's the, that's the Dow, and it's sort of applicable, a little bit applicable to some of the other areas, but I usually try to take that for the Dow. So the Dow actually is near the all-time highs. We'll see. The day is young. The week is young. And let me tell you something. The year is young. We've seen crazy things happen in December. Remember that December sell-off to, to 2018, was it, to the Christmas, um, to the 26th of December, and then we started a major rally. So anything can happen today. This is quad watching day, and there's a chance that at some point after all the selling is done, there's just a kind of a relief rally. But when you're down 540 points now in the Dow, 55 points in the S&P, you can have a rally, but it'll just be a pure technical over oversold rally. At this point, I'm suspecting that the – let me just go to the Dow before I talk out of turn. The Dow – but it was in a sell mode, and then it hit the 200-period moving average. That took it back into a buy signal. Technically, it was a buy mode. I put the up arrow in, but it's this is the point where the price has to tell you what it is because I believe that I, I show you Microsoft is part of the Dow now. Uh, this, you know, we've got a, a change of scenery uh, when you're looking at Apple, which was a huge leader forever having a bit of a pullback from 182.13 peak D in the, in the Chapman Wave methodology. These are where you've got to be a little bit careful. Um, and it goes to a D at 182.13, and now it's trading at 170. Big deal, 12 points. It's not even 1%, 12 points. But you know what is interesting? I'm oh, sorry, 12 points is... Uh, 12 from 80, 181. Yeah, it's 7.5, 8%. 8, 8 but what we are looking at is within the context of this V shape, inverted V shape pattern, and a leg, potential leg F in the weekly chart, and a G slash C in the monthly, Apple, and we're still in the season, the, the, the um, holiday season, Apple's going to be very interesting because if Apple's able at any point in the next three to five sessions going into Thursday of next week, able to bounce above 176. It was there yesterday. In fact, yesterday it was in the 180 area. If, if it's a, then it says, you know what, sideways consolidation until after December and then maybe January gets much weaker. But if it actually starts to take off to the downside now, falls in the gap and starts to go down below 160, 165, 163 support, Apple, part of the down now, but also part of the NDX 100, becomes a factor because it was a factor on the way up. It's so the weighting in Apple is so so heavy. Now let's go to a couple of things. I want to show you the IYT. I was asked, could I do the transports? Yep, chap wave inside track repellent zone, working right there. It's failed. It's now got a potential for a type of H pattern. In all case, H pattern A I. But it's holding quite nicely. And look, 281 is the most recent high in November. 287 is the May all-time high. And it's trading at 264, 10% down. Not a big deal yet. So this is what I call a rotational correction, going one by one through the different sectors. But if we start to get all the sectors coming down at the same time, then the selling could increase. I'll be back in a moment. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So, uh, yeah, so look at this. Yes, the one minute E mini. This is the uh, March contract 22. I uh, see pink. It's just been pink all the way from the 46 uh, 10 level. But look at this. This is the 120 minute chart, which gave a really nice signal yesterday um, at that peak D right there at about 6 in the morning, 6 30 in the morning. And then look what happened. It went pink, meaning. That, that the nine was under the 14 period, and it did that all the way. It went from uh, the 47, 38 ish level, and then it actually hit 46, 42, had a strong bounce, went flat, went green just for a brief period, then went pink again, and then it went green momentarily this morning, and then all of a sudden, at four o'clock this morning, uh, the 17th, it went pink. This is the 10 minute E mini, and it's been pink ever since. So it's been pink since right there. Um, at 420 this morning, I'm saying this because a couple of people had uh, emailed or, or uh, um, texted me to say, what, um, what am I looking at? And I said, just use the one indicator. I think it can help you a lot. You can have other indicators, but the simplest one is just look at the 9 under the 14 or 9 over the 14, and that can just keep you in a trade way longer than you ever would have estimated. And uh, here it is at 45.95 and still pink. Okay, get that out the way. And now with this technical Friday, so I want you to continue showing different patterns. This is the arch formation within the falling axe um, breakout. And, and the pattern that we were talking about uh, in the den was, have I seen this pattern? Yeah, it's got the same principle. Although you're talking about big candles and then a little counter trend rally with a couple of green candles. Or if it's coming up, you've got a couple of red candles. I call it the Chapman Wave one-to-one -one expansion. Um, it, it's, the same, it's the same principle. In other words, it's almost like a doji, which is a halfway marker. It has the same characteristics. You've got, I call it a filling station stop. So within that uh, within that um, context, uh, just think of it as an interruption to the major trend. All right, that, keep it as simple as possible. So that's the IYT. That's the transports holding okay, not great. I just wanted to have a question. I haven't actually updated this because I just got that question. IYR, what's it doing? This is the iShares Dow Jones U.S. Real Estate Index Trust. 
trading at 111.33. The recent high was in the 112, 113 area. It's been making these triple, quadruple tops, hasn't been able to break out. And this is a stalling motion, but stalling is fine in a market like this. Um, it's 111.34 down 0.09 IYR. And I uh, keep an eye on it. And you remember we were talking about GIS General Mills? I don't know why I didn't tell the subscribers. Let's just grab it the other day. There's the doji. This is exactly the candle type candle we're looking at. Big green candles and stalls for one session. Look at this tiny little plus sign, little doji candle. And then it does a one to one to the upside. And I, I have to really consider that it's in leg B. I should give it a technical uh, alternate count. Uh, F slash B. Just for now, we'll keep it as B and leg C. This is G GIS is a symbol. 68.97 up 11 cents. Have you made an all time high today of 69.68? Okay, let's go. Okay, oh, so the question came in about the XLF. Yeah, because rates, I haven't got there yet, because rates are um, actually coming down. <laughs> Even the, you remember what I said? The Fed, don't just take what the Fed says. Take what the market does. Well, the market of rates is saying you can say whatever you want, but with this turn down in the maybe a turn down in the economy, if these high techs are starting to pull back so significantly, you've got to consider that the Fed's going to have a tough time raising rates. Why would it even want to consider raising rates if, in fact, there's a slowdown unfolding? They don't. They get inside news. But what exactly are they looking at? I don't know. But the XLF is down 97 cents at 38.49. This is the S&P Select Financial Spider Fund. Uh, I told my subscribers, uh, we've been long Bank of America for a long time. Usually we get out. We have it, and it makes a fabulous gain. And then every year we've done this for I don't know how many years. And then we just get out. In this particular instance, we got in at 31 way back uh, 31 that was back in uh, February of this year and it's ran all the way to 4869 we've taken two little bits off uh, at the same time I was hoping that we could just keep this it's at 4372 now still up a really nice percentage there's no question about that We're not as good as it was at 4869 but we took profits uh, up in the 47s but most importantly now comes the time we have to make a decision. Are we going to stay in this position or are we just going to get stopped out and say, you know what, we'll come back in if we can at lower prices. I just don't know. And one of the things that's really important about this is that I usually say the financials rally strongly when there's an international monetary crisis. We don't really have that right now. We might have other crises, but, but I don't see it quite yet as money. So... I, that's the reason why I said to subscribers, we're looking at gold really closely because this could be the first time in quite a while that gold sees, and I'm using the, the, the gold now, but it's really the GDX because we want to see gold miners. You want to see the action in the gold miners if you're participating in the market. Unless you're just purely in the futures, that's different, and you're going to have to play the gold. But I think the gold miners and the GDX is up 43 is 31. I should mention we are long. 31, 60, uh, 61. Um, this is the area that might be in a rectangle formation, but which is fine because then it says it could go all the way to the 34, 35 area. 30. Let me just check this out. 35.08 was the high back in the week of the November the 19th. If it goes above that, it becomes a cup formation. At this point, it's just an H pattern that's that went. It's successful because it didn't break the left side low of 2883. It went to 2890, seven cents above. That's a successful um, technical Friday. Let's do that. Technical Friday, what are we looking at? We're looking at the pattern that I call the dreaded H. And if it's successful, this was unsuccessful here back in August to September. It even went peak APB. Big C, big D, in a very tiny move. You usually can get all of this from 30.69 to 33s in one leg or two legs. This took four legs to D, then turned around and gave an arch formation and plummeted to the 28.83 level, September the 27th. And then it rallied to a peak D, E, at 33.95, pulls back, starts an inside track propellant uh, uh, zone, <clears throat> 
rallies again to alternate count. And I said, I'm treating this as an alternate count, but it seems to me this looks like a G at 35.08 in the daily chart. And we made that high. And then we tumbled down to 28. It was seven points. That's a 20% right correction. Well, 28.90, and now we're starting again. But this time, the overall pattern that we're looking at, I don't like messy charts. This is... <coughs> Excuse me, I got my uh, target technician's hour sneeze in. I think I must be out doing Dave White. Now, you know, I hardly ever sneeze during the day. But now we've got the sneeze. So here we've got the successful dreaded H. Didn't take out the left side low, which says you can rally to the next major left side peak. But if it's successful, you could r rally all the way to the previous high, that's 3568. And if you close above it, all of a sudden this path becomes a very positive cup formation. I don't like to go that far. I'm just going one step at a time saying, gold has made a very nice move. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman. I just wanted to show you this is the uh, one-minute chart. We're looking at um, peak A, peak B, leg C at 46.02. Not until you see trading holding in the 418 to 422 level, would I say that in options expiration, you've suddenly got the uh, 
the other side kicking in. That is the, not the short side, but the long side. So at this particular point, I think that's what you've got to wait for. And that's got to hold for about more than just two minutes. It's got to be like 10 to 12 minutes in that range. And all of a sudden, you'll, you'll see buying come in. But we have to wait and see what happens. Now, so I didn't want to spend too much time here. I just wanted to show you that silver had a really strong session yesterday. Today is good. It's not great. And that's the reason why I think that I don't want to get carried away. I just want to say that in this particular phase, because it's not a financial crisis, it's, an, it's a different, it's more a safety factor that gold at this point. You look, if we're looking at BTC, which is your Bitcoin, it's down. It's sharp. I said this is, this is not the place right now. It's out for a while. And it's and making a lower low. Just making lower highs and lower lows. Hasn't even been able to close above the pink, let alone the black. 14 period moving average. The nine period moving average down the lower one. It hasn't been able to close above it. Close above it, I'm saying, uh, since the day after the high of 69.860 on the 10th of November, the 11th had a high of 66.40. And that was it. Every other time it's tried to close, it's gone above the pink and it's closed below it. So all I'm saying is, be really careful because it's selective. And that's the reason why I'm saying that gold uh, and the gold stocks, let's, uh, let's see what ASA is doing. One of my favorites. We don't have this. Uh, yep, nice move up. But from the 22.99, two consecutive day highs, it pulls back to yes, uh, three days ago. It makes a low of the 1940, what was that, 1931 area, 1931. Um, and now it's at 20.82. Uh, That's just a good sign. It says this is a place that we can go to. I just don't know if this is the big move in gold. I'm suspecting that the big move in gold will have a trigger that's really obvious. It won't be the subtle kind of thing that's going on right now. And this is silver. So and PAAS, we looked at yesterday at a nice candle, a very nice candle today. Oh, I never finished the notation in the I used to have that. I don't know why I've lost it. So this is a peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. It runs up again to EF right in the 200 period moving average. Can't handle that. Plummets down to the from the 28s. It plummets down to the 21s. And now it's a 24. Nice move. So it's very selective. And if you use the Chapman Wave inside, both inside track and the Chapman Wave falling axe formation, uh, what do you get? You get this. And it's a nice move to the upside. 50 period moving average of 25 is is the target by maybe uh, Tuesday or so. Key support is at 23.73. That's past Pan American silver. Now um, uh, XL, XLF. Uh, no, I did the XLF. Uh, oh, I wanted to show you bonds. The TLT had a bounce uh, to uh, the 150. It said 150.56 level. It really needs to get to 152 to say that rates are really going to go quite a bit lower. But I suspect that we're in this choppy, choppy area. But at some point, if we're looking at rates and the Fed having to really move towards raising rates, um, this 200 period moving average of 147 is going to be key support. If it starts to pull back under that, you're going to see, regardless of what the Fed does, you're going to see a big move. Uh, up in rates, but not a breakout. A breakout would be if the um, TLT any time between now and maybe the second week of December of January is trading under 144. Those rates already stream to the upside, and that should help the bank stocks. Wow, we just saw that. Very nice, very very nice. The uh, this is leg A, leg B, leg C. Now we've got a leg D going to 46.14. Uh, let's see what happens. As I said, 46, 18, 46, 22, holding for more than just a very brief moment would say, hey, now we could see some kind of a move to the upside. Does that make this a low in the in the different indices? No, I think there's a lot of work still to be done in the late stage uh, tech sector stocks like the Microsofts and Apples, and they are weighted very heavily. So that says to me, you've got a limit on the upside, but I would love to see Going into December the 31st, which is Friday, I love it when the year closes on a Friday, um, last day of December, because it just makes it, the charts look much better when you see close right on on the year. Uh, and then if, you, if there's a, like a tumble in the last three days of December and then January starts of week, you get you can get this, you get the monthly chart saying, whoa, whoa watch this, this could be a monthly top. Uh, or monthly high of whatever the candle is. Aha, we've got the uh, S&P now down only 40, 
at 46.18. This is where we're going to watch it closely. Oh, uh, could I could I print it? Yes, I will. There's your peak. There's your low. I can put it up arrow in because we know that it's already done well. This this is and t uh, um, this is the look back period. And look back period is always 2020. You, you would be very wrong to call this not call it an up arrow. It's already gone to D, and it's stalled where right on the 200 period moving average. I mean, how how nice is that? Uh, now, any chance you can comment on this TQQQ chart applies also to the NQ3 fan similar to falling X. Let's see what you've got there. I'll show this chart to everyone. Okay. Yeah, th I love doing this. This is nice. This is now people will think, oh my God, is this GAN theory? This is not GAN theory. This is the chart theory. And what um, um, Dan has done in the den is he's gone, he's got a trend line down. He's got another trend line with all the significant tops, which also became the bottom for the gap up. This is the TQQQ. We're looking at the hourly chart. And then what does this trend line do? It becomes incredible support. At first, it becomes a chap wave inside track repellent zone, and then it becomes the propellant zone. But wait a minute. How can it be a propellant zone when you're going to much lower lows and even lower highs? Well, because it's just a straight line. That's what a trend line is for. It's a straight line. And it comes down and it becomes a support level. Right now, it's back at the support level. And I would have agreed that I would have made those the next chapter move inside track a repellent zone. For a moment, it looked like it was a propellant zone because it was above it. Oops, it goes back in and now you're back. I love this. And I, what, what I love about this is there isn't any um, tool that says um, there's... Let's call it, for, for argument's sake, oh, it's absolutely a Fibonacci and it's fantastic. And man, no, this is the chart itself. The chart, the lines had no clue what um, famous Italian philosopher or mathematician was giving you uh, the numbers. It, all it knew is it hit these highs and then it hit that low and it looks like a trend line of importance. Is it? You bet it is, because look at that big rally off there. Is the one on the top important? You bet it is. Why? Because it got repelled. They could have been anywhere. So I love it. Congratulations. Beautiful drawing of trend lines. That's the way I like to do trend lines. Here we can look on the upside. Look, it's got a bit of a curve to it. That's always difficult. But you can treat it as a curve because it had, like a railway track, it had parallel lines going all the way through. Not straight lines, but parallel lines. And then it fell right there. So nice work. Congratulations. So now let me get out of this. And I want to show you we've now gone in leg. Let me just double check here. Is that a quarter point difference? 21, 20. Yep, that's it. So we've gone to a leg E. That's a good sign. And you're turning this 200 period moving average. Did I need a 200 period moving average? No, I didn't. Is it important? You bet it is. Look, we've stalled. We've cheated the support. It's hugging it. It's like a magnet. We'll see what happens. I'll be back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, we're ready. We're back and we're looking at, I had a question. Has Nick wants to know? Uh, this question again. The, D, the Dow Jones Industrial a, a Index. Um, hi, Basil. In two minute chart, if the Dow 9 EMA crosses over <clears throat> decisively, would be a good place to start a new a DIA? Thank you. No, I, I, I'm just going to say to you, I, as a two minute trade, that's different. But you've got to be careful. One of the things I'm looking at here is that just at this particular time, it, whoops, I typed in the wrong place. Let me just show you something, um, Nick. If you're looking at the two-minute chart, ESZ, uh, ESH. I have to get used to the new one, ESH22. This is the one that I would use. I'd be using something like something based on the S&P. I'd rather go to that area because they are so oversold. If that's the area that, the, folks, the Dow is playing catch-up. So the Dow is going to have more failures at this particular point than the... Um, let me just get this right. Yeah, so you're in leg C already in the two-minute chart of the um, E-mini. So rather switch, the Dow was the strongest. Now it's playing catch-up to the downside. Look, it's down 1.19%. The S&P is only down 0.74. And the QQQ, if I can see from here, is down only 0.2. So this is a different kettle of fish. So I, I would now go with the strongest. And treat it only as a trade with a tight stop. In fact, we've kind of missed the best move from 45.90 in the E-mini, um, trading out 46.25, 20, 24. Uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a huge move to the upside. So just be careful. Now, a couple of things I wanted to talk about because it's really important that we start to focus now on the type of, the type of correction or the type of digestion we're looking at. If it's a digestive phase, then you've got to start thinking rectangle formation or maybe even slightly lower lows than most recent lows. Uh, but it's not a break. It's not a, it's not a crash. If you're thinking correction, then you've got to think that some areas could have on a percentage basis something that could fit 20 percent. And if you're looking, let's just go to the SMHs right now, having a green candle after making a lower low. Uh, today, oh, oh, yep, a lower low, but it's still not broken the 290.51 level. This is saying, hey, what are you talking about? Semiconductors. Let's look at NVIDIA. Yeah, I mean, NVIDIA is correcting after a 346.47, um, but it really looks like a digestive phase. And it'll start, you can talk correction if NVIDIA and the SMHs drop sharply below the, the left side lows that they most recently made. That's 280 in the NVIDIA chart. I'm saying you start to see this thing trading trading for a whole week in the 250s, 
all of a sudden you're looking at something completely different. So I think that right now we've got the chance for a balance. And on a percentage basis, my suspicion is that the Qs, the QQQ, so if you're looking at, let, let me do this, the, um, oh, let me just go right here. Technical Friday, so we'll go right here. We'll go to the, uh, there it is. So the E-mini is up at the 46.31 level. See, this is kind of what we were looking for. The TQQQ, we were looking at that on the 60-minute chart. That was, the 60-minute chart was, in fact, um, the three times long, the QQQ Ultra Pro uh, shares. Uh, trading nicely now. It tested that low. I think it took it out of debt. So this is an A and this is a B. This is acting very nicely. But funnily enough, the H, the 22, this is the ES Mini, is doing very nicely now. Now it's at uh, 46.31. And at 46.31, it is now testing above the 200 period moving average in the two minute chart. So all I can say is that when it comes to this type of thing, you've got to be very selective. And now we can say, is this a Chapman Wave instant restart in the one minute chart of the E-mini? This is the March contract. I don't know why it's been doing this for a while. Oh, I used to be able to do this at lightning speed. In fact, people used to say to me, have you got that automated? Because I could do it so quickly. And look at this, I can't even get it to circle for my Chapman Wave. Oh, this is, oh, there it is. All right, it's in the wrong place, but I'll slide it across. Now, yeah, the question comes up in a one minute chart. Can you get instant restart? You bet. So this could be peak E slash A. That's the same height. So there's no peak right there. This could be F slash B. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean, some people said, hey, could you could you have a webinar and do this? This is what I do in my all-day webinars. So maybe it's, it's, it is time for you to think about an all-day webinar, and we'll just do this all day. You could trade it. You can do anything you want. But look at this. As long as that green line is way above the 14 period moving average, I'm going to reference this as very positive. Then I look at different indicators. One indicator says tad overbought on the one-minute chart. Could be pulling back. Could see a red candle very soon. Oops, there's a little red candle. It's happening right as we speak. Day's young. It's, it's, got, it's got another 47 seconds or something to go. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to use that uh, as a, a close. It is in the process of forming a little red candle there, right there. And it's leg C in the two-minute chart. That's what I like to do, to have these different uh, time frames. One minute, two minute, five minute, ten minute. That says to me it's like the 120-minute daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart. So that's what we look at. So now a couple of questions. Okay, now let's get to the questions. So the Tiger, uh, FDX, yep, let's look at FDX. That helped the IYT that we were looking at just a while ago. This is the FDX is trading up. Whoa, leg D. I wondered about this. I sp did I actually talk about this? I know I did talk about it to myself for days and days. I said, there's no other way I can count Federal Express as being in leg C. I can't even make a case for a Chapman Wave, um, uh, a double top that I can call a phantom peak because they, they, there were too many pennies just distance between the previous bar and the next bar. So I said, this is a peak C. It's making the Chapman Wave falling X formation. It's gone up but failed to make it above PD. It has exactly the pattern. This is a, this is not a microcosm. This is a macrocosm, uh, a Jeff of the pattern that you were talking about. It goes sharply up with nice big green candles, and then suddenly it, it pulls back and it goes sideways. This is the Chapman Wave one to one breakout to the upside. And lo and behold, it comes out with earnings today. Federal Express is up 13.88, 252.36, up 5.8%. And that's the reason why I'm saying I can't get overly negative at this particular point. I can be negative, but I can't get overly negative. There are just too many signs. Here's another sign that I need to explain to you. So it went to the 200 period moving average. Did you care about the Federal Express's 200 period moving average when it used it as support? and then resistance back in August and September. Once it broke down, you didn't even know it was there. You didn't care about it. And then what's the rule of thumb with, with the 200? The price then rallies or pulls back and it gets very close. It doesn't touch it. And then it pulls back. 
the very next move back towards it usually touches it. That's the, two, that's the magnet of the 200 period moving average. And here it is uh, in leg D. So is this a spike up that's going to continue over the next week or so? Well, now we would have to go to a chap wave gap up or gap down theory. Do I have time to do that? I'm not sure if I will. I don't do that one. Uh, Dow's up 327, uh, down 327, the S&P's down 20. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I, I just had so many questions. I wish I, I could do I could do another hour, but I can't, of course, because you've got uh, Larry coming up. Of course, you don't want to miss Larry. Uh, and uh, we've got, let's see, we've got Think of Swim, Steve Rhodes. We've got um, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. Uh, check out my opening call with Dave News Center and check out the uh, Tiger Dollars. So look at this. He has your E-mini. It's in leg C. I did, I did that Chapman Wave instant restart, which said you could get a new buy mode going to a D. And here you're on leg C in the one-minute chart, leg C in the two-minute chart at 46.47. Just wasn't it 15 minutes ago or something we were down to 40, uh, 46 20 area uh, and now we are 27 points above that that's how quick this market is moving and that's the reason see if we were in a full bear market right now the that sideways move that we saw would have given us just a little bit of bounce and now we would be down 670 in the dow the s p wouldn't be down just 11 the s p would be down 68 to 72 points i'm telling you that 
there are really good signs here. And one of them that I want you to just mention briefly here, I don't even know where it is training right at this moment, but let me just give you, oh, first of all, UPS, the question came in, Air Federal Express did that same thing. It was a peak C and it went to a D in the daily finally. Could UPS do that? Well, UPS at 220.24 at peak C back in October went to that high. And lo and behold, you remember the pattern that I'm talking about, these double tops, which I think is the characteristic of the market. It doesn't matter what sector. That's the reason why I think there's enough strength at some point in December just to try for a little bit of higher highs. Look, to 1959, way back in May, uh, May back in, yeah, May, May the week of the 14th, UPS plummets down to the 170s. It goes right back to 220.24, less than a dollar away from the previous high that made legs see in the monthly chart. Not only that, the E-mini futures, you won't believe it, went to leg B extension in December. Not the S&P cash. Isn't that amazing? Hey, have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday. Uh, check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and stay tuned for a great program. I keep the news to come on.